Welcome to Librarian Recommends. Hi, my name is Trish and I am one of the librarians at Barbican Library. And whilst the library is closed, I'm going to bring you some suggestions of books to read or listen to via a Librarian Recommends session each week on a Thursday. Whilst you're unable to come into the library to collect books, you can download ebooks and audiobooks using our free RB Digital app. If you need help using the app, please take a look at our how-to video, which you can find in the video section on the left of this Facebook page, or go to our YouTube channel. Go to YouTube and just type Barbican and Community Libraries into the YouTube search box and then select the top search result. Today I'm going to concentrate on biographies, of which there are a large number to choose from, covering every subject imaginable. Firstly, I'm going to mention some ebook titles you might be interested in trying. My first recommendation is The Adventures of Arthur Conan Doyle by Russell Miller. This is an exhaustive biography of the creator of one of literature's most famous and enduring characters, Sherlock Holmes. Miller is an award-winning journalist and the first Doyle biographer to be given unlimited access to Conan Doyle's private correspondence. Doyle led a full and interesting life, which is examined in detail here. He was a struggling doctor before finding success with his Sherlock Holmes short stories. This book also covers Doyle's personal life, his two marriages and his belief in the paranormal. This is a thoroughly researched book that would appeal to any fans of the world's greatest detective. Next up is Furiously Happy by Jenny Lawson. Jenny is an American journalist and writer and author of the Blog S website. This mem memoir explores her lifelong battle with mental illness in a humorous and uplifting way. Despite her many mental health issues, she is doggedly determined to be furiously happy and live life to the full whenever she feels well enough. This is a collection of stories, essays, anecdotes, random thoughts and conversations written with disarming honesty. This is a raw, witty and inspiring book about grappling with mental illness whilst embracing joy in fantastic and ridiculous ways. How about Always Looking Up by Michael J. Fox? Actor Michael J. Fox was diagnosed with Parkinson's in 1991 at the age of 29. He continued with his acting career until his worsening symptoms caused his semi-retirement in the year 2000. This book is split into the four pillars of his life, work, politics, faith and family, and it is an uplifting and inspirational story of a man coming to terms with a debilitating and incurable condition and his determination to live life to the full, as well as doing as much as he can in the fight against Parkinson's through his own Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's Research. The final ebook suggestion is Amateur, A Reckoning with Gender, Identity and Masculinity by Thomas Page McBee. This is the autobiographical story of a journalist and trans man who decides to take part in a charity amateur boxing match in Madison Square Gardens. He feels that fighting is integral to understanding his own masculinity and boxing allows him to address the question of male violence with some ritual and containment. This book follows his training and is interspersed with interviews with various experts on all areas of contemporary masculinity. This is a fascinating memoir and deeply personal study of gender, identity, violence and stereotypes through the experiences of a new man. And now on to some audiobooks. If you've not tried listening to books before, why not give it a go? There really is something relaxing and soothing about being read to, regardless of the genre you choose. The first suggestion is Lost Dog, a love story by Kate Spicer. Journalist Kate Spicer is leading a chaotic and less than healthy life. After one night too many of booze and drugs, she decides to adopt a rescue dog in the hope of bringing order and stability to her world. Enter Wolfie, an adorable lurcher who does indeed change Kate's life for the better as she totally falls in love with him. But then Wolfie goes missing and Kate is distraught. She drums up help to look for him and during this time she contemplates her life and why things have turned out how they have, but will she be able to save Wolfie? This is a brilliant memoir about powerful love and the bond between a woman and her dog and a lesson in why you should never give up hope. How about the John Lennon Letters by John Lennon? This collection of correspondence has been edited and annotated by Hunter Davies, a friend of Lennon's and the author 
of the first and only authorised biography of the Beatles. This is a collection of over 300 letters, notes and postcards dating from 1951 to 1980, giving invaluable insight into Lennon's character as well as his life when he wrote them. Lennon's private writings are funny, intelligent, mad, poetic, angry, campaigning, informative, anguished, sweet and sometimes heartbreaking. This is a great listen for fans of Lennon or the Beatles. Next up is Any Ordinary Day by Lee Sales. Lee is an Australian journalist who is used to reporting tragic events and interviewing people going through the worst time of their lives. A string of bad news stories and her own brush with death sparked the idea for this book. She wanted to find out how vulnerable each of us is to life-changing events. What do people fear most and why? And when the unthinkable happens, what comes next? The human stories she reports are mixed with the latest scientific findings on how the human brain processes grief, fear and trauma. This meticulously researched book is ultimately an uplifting listen about courage, strength, recovery and resilience and is particularly relevant in the difficult times we are all currently facing. My final audiobook recommendation is The To-Do List by Mike Gale. On the eve of his 36th birthday, with his 10th anniversary approaching and second child due at any moment, author Mike Gale decided to take a long, hard look at himself and his life. He concludes that despite being nearly 40, he's actually far from an adult, and dismayed by his lack of maturity, he draws up a to-do list that contains over a thousand tasks, some of which he's been putting off for years. He tasks himself with completing this list in a year, and as he works through it, he learns things about himself, life, love, family and friends. This is a light-hearted and easy listen, which may inspire and motivate you to compile your own long overdue to-do list in these lockdown times. Less procrastination and more organisation. I do hope you enjoy these ideas for your next read, even if maybe you've not thought of reading biographies before. Why not try something new? You might be surprised. And don't forget, if these titles I have suggested are unavailable when you look, you can search by biographies under the genre in the RB Digital app. Do use the comments section below to add your own suggestions of biographies you think our customers might enjoy. And if you don't already have them available in our RB Digital collection, we will see if we can add them. As always, before I go, I would like to thank my colleague Lynn for her invaluable help putting these recommendations together. Stay safe and well, and see you next week. Bye.